Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today is gonna be the first makeup video back of 2022, and I am so excited for today's video. I'm actually giddy, I was doing dolphin noises. <laughs> This has been a highly, highly requested video from you guys over the years, actually. It's been years of, of comments asking me to do this video, and I'm going to be recreating the Hindash signature makeup look. If you don't know who Hindash is, he is a fabulous makeup artist, has the most ASMR voice ever, and has a YouTube channel and Instagram where he shares all of his magical makeup artist tips, and I was unaware of his existence, and I really thank you guys for bringing him into my life. Uh, I love to stalk the makeup artist world and see all of the information and fabulous wisdom that they have to give to us uh, common folk. <laughs> and today I'm actually gonna be doing a little mixture of two of his videos. He has a signature makeup look video on his YouTube channel and he also has a signature glowy makeup look. And I kind of just did a little hybrid of the two of them. I tried to use as many products that I had existing already in my makeup collection, picked up a few new things that I wanted to try on his recommendation. And I will link those two videos, obviously in the description box down below, as well as his YouTube channel in general. And I'm really excited to play and attempt the makeup look on my face today. So if you like these videos and want me to continue doing makeup artist recreations, please do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more videos from me. Turn on the notification bell to be notified when I upload new videos in the new year. And my friends, without further ado, let us zoom in and begin. I just wanted to say that I have done my eyebrows before this and there is a reason and I do have an eyebrow update for you coming on Monday. So if you wanted to know the tragedy that hath befallen my eyebrow update, uh, stay tuned for Monday's vlog. So let us begin. I'm obviously gonna be starting with the base. Actually, that's not obvious because between the two, he starts with the eyes in one video and he starts with the face in another video. And like I said, I'm kind of marrying the two together. So I am gonna start with my base because I was particularly fond of the, the routine he had in the one video. So. In the two videos, he uses one of these, the Ombre Lis Late Creme Concentrate. Do you know how many people have sent me voice notes on how to say this? He uses this product. Uh, and then he also uses the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base, which I actually, I don't think I updated you guys, but I had used up an entire one of these and I didn't actually have it in my collection. So I wanted to pick up a fresh one because I love this one so much. And if you've watched my channel, you'll know how much I love it. And when he used this, he did a hyaluronic serum, which I actually put the serum on already. And then he went in with this and he said, it's a moisturizer and a primer in one. So that's what I'm gonna be starting with. He just did a good, like a big chunk of this all over the face and also the neck, which I appreciated. And I'm just gonna blend that into my skin and start it out. I love makeup artist makeup so much. I feel like it's really in line with how I like to do my makeup, which is like the most natural glowing skin, nice and light and beautiful red carpet and smoky on the eyes. And yeah, I think his makeup looks are just really beautiful and, and doable for the everyday soul. And uh, I am definitely drawn to how he does his makeup. So I'm putting a nice, Thick layer of that. God, it feels so good. I forgot how magical this was. It has been a while since I've used it. I'm just gonna do another little layer of that. It is so glowy, so delicious and a beautiful start to our base. Now, one of the products that so many people, like influencers and makeup artists alike use, and it's a product that I've just avoided. They actually have the Banana Bright Primer as well. I don't know why. Anyway, I was definitely compelled to use this because so many people talk about it. It's the Ula Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream. There's a lot of conflicting opinions around eye cream and whether or not it's something that is worth your while or if it's just a, a marketing scheme. A lot of like dermatologists and skin people <laughs> say that you can just use your regular face cream and then there's a lot of people who are on the side of eye cream. Now, when it comes to like makeup artists using an eye cream, um, a lot of them comment on the fact that it just really helps to prep the under eye area for makeup. It helps to avoid the, the creasing and the cakiness under the eyes. And so I think that's something that I am really, really lazy about in my skincare routine is the eye cream. But when it comes to doing makeup, I feel like it's something that I just need to actually pay attention to more in my makeup routine and, and do the eye cream. So this one feels great. I've actually been using it for the last couple days while I've been getting ready and uh, it sits very nicely under makeup. So I'm thrilled to do that today. Now the next step he does is putting like a highlighting product underneath the foundation. And he actually used a NARS Radiant something booster, which doesn't appear to exist anymore, that particular product, but I do have the NARS Tinted Glow Booster, which seems to give a similar effect. So that's what I'm gonna start with instead. So I'm taking a pump of this. I have this in the shade Calvoya Light. Just taking some of that into the palm of my hand and he basically just used this on the high points of the face to like pre-highlight, even though we later go in with highlighting things. You just put that around whoop, on top of the cheekbones. 
One thing that I really noticed from his videos, from Hindash's videos, is his brushes. I couldn't find any info on his brushes. Maybe I'm blind. If someone knows where his brushes are from, please let a girl know. Um, maybe I'm like missing a video. I need to do a deep dive and like see if he's done like a brush video or something. But the brushes he used for the foundation and everything, cream on the face looks so satisfying and so nice to use. I really, I, I need this info. If you guys know, let a girl know. So that's the little glow booster applied. It looks looks very, very nice. We're very juicy, my favorite. Then he goes in with the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk foundation. I actually picked a new bottle of this up. I got the shade 4.5, which is actually like, please, please guys forgive me. I did purchase my deeper shade. I purchased my summer shade because I had actually fully intended on doing a fake tan for, <laughs> for this video. I've been feeling very drab and pale in these winter months. And I was like, okay, I'm going to buy my fake tan shade. I'm going to be tanned and like glowing and glorious for this. And, and I didn't, we're just going to be taking this all down the neck and giving ourselves a warm glow but just know it is a, a deeper shade than what my skin tone currently matches so i'm gonna go in with the luminous silk foundation this is one of my favorite foundations of all time one thing that really upsets me is how much they've increased the price over the last couple years of just youtube life um, the price has increased by 20 dollars canadian so i don't really use it as much as i used to simply because i'm boycotting <laughs> their price increase but i mean so many products have had a price increase so i can't really single out the Armani foundation, but it is beautiful and one of my favorites of all time. So I'm taking my refer 31 brush and he applies the foundation with a foundation brush. And I'm just going to go in. It's, he did like a really nice light, light layer across the skin and also uh, down the neck. So I'm just going to be taking that and blending it all over the face. Oh, it is so beautiful. It is like, it has such a gorgeous, gorgeous natural finish. Like it really is a favorite of so many for good reason. This foundation brush from Refer as well. This was a newer discovery of mine in the brush world and it is glorious. Let me just get down here. I did wear a deep V today, so I got to cover more surface area. <laughs> this is a glorious mixture on the face. What a beautiful, beautiful base. And it actually wasn't as deep as I thought it was going to be. It actually blended in really nicely. So thank goodness. Now we're going to go in with concealer. And I was very thrilled to see that he was a fan of the Makeup Forever self-setting concealer because this is one of my all-time favorite concealers ever. And he also used two shades. So he actually started with the matching skin shade. So I'm going to start with my shade 30 and I actually have my computer screen up. I wanted to follow like exactly where he placed the concealer, which was right under the eye here. He did a little dot here and just went in and actually concealed with this. And then he goes in with the brighter shade after. Oh, I went a little, oops, I went a little further there. My bad. He went under here and he did like one dot <laughs> here, like on the contour side where he wants to brighten. I don't know. I was a little bit confused. Here's the thing. I don't have perfect succulent glowing skin like the gal in the video. Uh, I do have specific spots where I need to conceal just like right here. Luckily, I am very thankful that I don't currently have a breakout, but I just do have a lot of my redness and veins and whatnot. So I am adding a little bit extra just on those spots. So he blends in the shade that actually matches the skin first. So I'm going to do the same, just taking a beauty blender and blending that out. I'm just taking a little bit of that excess and just patting it onto the eyelids. And then that is the base shade blended out. And then he goes in with the lighter shade. This one for me is the shade 22. And he just takes this one down the center of the nose. I can't do a straight line. <laughs> he did little dots just right on the under eye here around the nose and just a little bit on the chin. Okay, cool. There's the lighter shade. Also going to blend that out. And then that's the concealer all blended out. It's so glowy. It's so glowy yet still so natural. Love this combination. Might have to pull this out a little bit more. It's stunning. Okay. And then he goes in with the Laura Mercier setting powder and he actually takes this with the beauty blender and just sets the under eyes for now. So kind of like baking, but not like there's no excess product that he wipes away later. The thing that I need <laughs> to see and what I need makeup artists to talk about is what they do in the in-between. Okay. They say they're using the setting powder and then they show them blotting it in with the puff or the sponge. But what I need to know, do they take it out of the bin 
itself? Do they pour it into the lid? Do they tap off the excess product from the sponge? Like, give me the full process here because I dip my sponge into here and I'm like, great, there's powder, but like it's spotty. Do I then knock it off? Like, what do I do in the in-between here? Give me the secrets. So I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm just gonna attempt this and, and just use this to uh, set the under eye. So he just boop, 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 took the beauty blender and said it, wow, wow, that looks excellent. Can you see the difference in the camera? My God, look at that. Is this our answer to our inability to bake? Okay, so I'm dipping it into the bin, tapping it off on the lid, and that's, that's my current sequence. Wow, that looks incredible. Okay, so those are the under eyes. Now he goes in with contour and he actually uses a deeper shade of concealer, which I'm not going to do today. I'm gonna to take my Huda Beauty Tan Tour. Uh, but one thing I liked to see is that he was doing these little dots of the product all around, obviously, because he was applying the concealer. So I'm actually gonna take a little brush with my Huda Beauty Tan Tour and I'm gonna follow the same kind of pattern that he does here with the little dots. He did the nose contour like this. He did like two little lines. I do need a little bit of something something here just cause I have two giant knobs of bone. <laughs> did a little on the chin like this. And the one thing I thought was interesting is he didn't go along the jawline like this. He kind of goes up like in a little curve along the face like that. I always take my contour like right under the line there. So that'll be interesting. Let's see how that blends out. And then he just took it all along the forehead. Now for the interesting step, when he's blending out this cream contour as well as the cream blush to follow, he uses the foundation brush that we blended the foundation in with. So I'm going to take that brush and I'm going to use that to blend out our contour and it gave the most natural, beautiful, seamless, lovely look ever. It's kind of like taking the product, diffusing the contour a little bit and just helping it all blend together and be married into the most glorious, natural looking fashion. I loved this idea. The only issue is <laughs> if you're doing this on the daily and if you're really lazy like me, you're gonna have to not be lazy and you're gonna have to wash your brush every night or just buy multiple foundation brushes. But you know, once I blend in my contour and blush, like I wouldn't feel comfortable then going in and applying my foundation the next day. So you'd have to be real good at nightly brush washing. So that's interesting. This little niblet here. I mean, it just looks so, so, so natural. I kind of like how he did it like above the chin as well. Hindash, I'm a fan, baby. I am gonna take a smaller brush on the nose just cause I feel like things are gonna go awry if I try smudging that with the bigger brush. So I'm just taking this little Spectrum Kitty Jean Hughes number 10 brush and just blending out the nose here. That looks absolutely fabulous. What a flawless, flawless base. I love that method, super fun. I think it looks great. So next he actually uses the Newstick Sunset Strip Blush and he also applies this with the foundation brush. Now I will note that he the, the foundation brush he's using is a lot smaller and not as wide of a surface area as this rougher one. So I'm just gonna be a little bit more sparing and just kind of use the tips of this, but I haven't used Sunset Strip in such a long time. This was one of my favorite blushes for sure. Such a gorgeous color. I'm just gonna dip my foundation brush right into there and apply the blush onto my cheeks. So natural, so, so natural. This looks great. He also uses like more blush and highlights later, like really layers up the cream and the powder for all of the products. So that'll be fun to see. I was really happy to rediscover this color in my collection. It's absolutely gorgeous. And he kind of just like took that brush after and just dabbled all around, like on the nose. It didn't really like show anything different on the model in the video, but I like that idea of just taking it around everywhere. Like you could totally just leave the makeup like this and it looks so good, but we're gonna layer up a million other products after the fact. So he also used the Hourglass Champagne Flash Highlight, which this is like my old original one. I haven't used this in so long. My product is like quite dry, um, but it still looks okay. It has been so, 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 so long since I've used this. So I'm just gonna take the Champagne Flash Highlight and put that on the high points of the cheeks. So beautiful, really, really natural. I forgot how glorious this little shade was. Did he put it on the nose too? I'll just put a little bit for, for good measure on the nose too. 
So then he goes in with a big, big fluffy brush and a setting powder. He used the hourglass setting powder. I'm just gonna go ahead and use my Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless finish. This is my refer number 30 brush. I'm just rubbing that all in there. Pat it off of my hand. And he just goes in and sets the whole face with that. He actually didn't show the whole face. He kind of just showed like setting this area, but I'm just gonna go ahead and set in the rest of the areas. He does like the, the glowy, glowy skin. So I'm just taking that all over. I think this is a really, I don't use this big fluffy brush often in like this method, but that looks really, really nice. And then the under eyes are already completely set. So you can just go in with a little fluff after. I love, love this plan, love this idea. All right, folks, that's the base. Now we're going into the eyes. So he actually started with the Huda Beauty matte and metal melted shadow. So I got the shade cashmere robe and he started with this all over, sorry, the matte side all over the lid. And he also took it on the lower lash line and he said to apply it anywhere that you're applying eyeshadow. So I'm going to do that. This is my Refer 01 brush. And he just put that all over the lid as a base, which actually adds like really nice color. The one he used on her was Latte, I believe, Latte and something something. And it just added a really nice wash of color. I actually just applied quite a bit. I'm just gonna take a clean brush and just fluff that around. That's a really, really pretty shade. Cashmere robe, hello. This is like very, very pigmented and there's a lot of product on the actual brush. So I'm trying to be a little bit sparing with it, but a little bit is going a long, long way with this. Just blending that out on the lower lash line, which I love, love how that looks. Like I would put mascara on and be done with this. This is a look all in itself, a one and done eyeshadow, if you will. Such a pretty color, absolutely love it. I love that it's not too warm and it's not too cool. It's a perfect, in between. That is so, so nice. <laughs> okay, so now is where the fun begins. I was actually really excited to discover this. He said like one of his favorite products across the board, he uses it in a ton of his videos and he also mentioned it in a few interviews that I looked up uh, is the NARS Mambo Longwear Eyeliner. And it's like a very, very warm, warm brown. Um, I am a little bit concerned. Mine was not sharpening well. It's also very, very creamy. <laughs> So I'm gonna try my best to play with this. And so he starts off by applying this onto the lash line and then taking it out into quite a point. In one of the videos, he just leaves this as a winged liner. The other one, he kind of like blends it into the crease. I'm gonna start with this, see how I feel, see if I mess anything up, but I'm gonna try and do the little point here. He applies it from the actual product itself and then he goes in with a little brush and blends it out and kind of finesses the finer point. This is the Katie Jane Hughes number 21 brush. So I'm just gonna blend that and try and bring our little flicky flick out. It's showing up like quite purpley on me, honestly. Like from here, looking at my little hand mirror, it looks like a purple liner. It looks much more brown in his videos. <laughs> I wonder if I just got an old one because it's just, it's a little bit, like it's creamy, but it's also kind of chunky too and blending it out. Just diffusing that across the lash line. It looks so creamy and seamless in his vid, but it's, it's being quite patchy for me. He also uses this liner to tight line. So I'm just gonna run that uh, uh, along my <laughs> inner waterline. Yeah, I don't know, final thoughts on this in this moment. I think I must have just got a, maybe an old one. Maybe I got an old batch in my order, but it's it's quite patchy. It was a little bit difficult to blend out. And um, I don't know, it looks like completely purple on my eyes. It does not look brown like it does in the video. Okay, so then we're gonna deepen up the crease and in the particular signature makeup look, he uses multiple different palettes for the crease shadow as well as the shimmer. And then he just randomly says like, and then I use a cream to diffuse it, but doesn't mention what that cream is. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna play a little bit here. I am gonna take the Makeup by Mario Master Mattes palette and just mix these two browns here. Oh, you know what? That brush is too big, JK. I'm gonna use a smaller brush. Um, just mixing these two browns and just gonna add that into the crease. So he does this, he adds a little bit of a deeper brown into the crease, and then he also adds an even deeper brown to add onto the liner. So hopefully we can cover up this little purple moment and make it a little bit more brown, but he just really lightly blends that deeper brown into the crease.
And then I'm gonna take a smaller little brush here, take that in the brown and just press that onto the liner. He kind of just like diffuses it into the crease. This is very much in line with my everyday eye makeup and giving it a little enhancement. I absolutely love this, just blending out a liner and really giving it that soft, soft, smoky look. Love it. I'm experiencing a little bald spot on my eyelid right here and I just wonder if that's from the Huda Beauty cream eyeshadow look if I had just missed a little section and didn't blend it out properly but there's like a little, I don't know if you can tell, there's a little bald spot going on. So if you do notice that, please ignore. Then he goes in with a powder shimmery shadow on the lid of the eye but I'm actually just going to use the other side of the little Huda Beauty two-in-one here. I just feel like it would be sad to ignore her beauty so I'm just going to take that on my finger. And just press that on like look at that beautiful shimmer so nice it is a little bit of a different vibe than the color he used but we have a little two-in-one here might as well use it you know then we're going to take a small brush and just take a little bit of that brown and put it right he, he just appeared to put it like right on the outer bit of the lower lash line now the liner has gone all over my waterline i wonder if it was meant to go on the lower one yeah <laughs> and then he took a little bit of the shimmery bits just right onto the lower lash line there too so i'm just applying this straight from ooh, <gasps> ooh, the applicator how fun is that all right now time for mascara i'm going to take my lancome lashy doll mascara and apply this onto my lashes very interesting to me that he did the mascara here then he goes in and finishes the rest of the face and then finishes with individual lashes i thought that was very whoa. i thought that was very very interesting but i love the finished effect so let's try it i'm actually not going to put too much mascara on my lower lashes just because i am in my blinkity blinking and I desperately need some waterproof mascara so if I put <laughs> mascara on my lower lashes right now it's going to be a disaster I'm going to be a giant raccoon so we're ignoring the lower lashes but I loved his tip of applying mascara to your lower lashes with a fan brush I thought that was very interesting so now that the eyes are done the mascara is on we're going to go ahead and finish up the face so he uses all the powder products now to to set in and blend everything together so he starts with the benefit hula bronzer and i'm going to take my refero 5 brush for this and he just does a really lovely light dusting wherever we put the the contour basically so he went over the cheeks dusted the temples and the forehead which i love to do always love to use powders as well to just blend everything together he took that down the nose it literally just looked like he went like this which I appreciated. And then he said, don't forget the neck. And I said, Hindash, I will not. <laughs> so then for the blush, he actually used Laura Mercier Peach, which is a shade I have not used in a while, if at all. Like, have I used to? I don't even remember. But we're using it today and just really lightly going over top of that. I actually really love how the blush we applied still looks by itself. It never hurts to go in with a bit more color in the cheeks, does it? I'm just taking, this is my, this is my Refer 04 brush and just really lightly dusting that along. That's really pretty, really, really nice together. So for the highlight in one video, he used Becca Champagne Pop and in another, he used the Dior Backstage Glow Face Palette. So I'm gonna take my Dior palette and I'm just gonna mix these two shades together and just use that to finish off the highlight. Ooh, look at that glow. <laughs> Oh, he did put it on the keep its bow and chin too. Ooh. So now he goes in with individual lashes once the, the face is all done. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and apply my Ardell lashes. Love to see that he used the Ardell lashes. I have a few in medium and a few in short. I believe he said he used the medium ones, but I'm just gonna go ahead and suffer through and take 12 years to apply these uh, individual lashes on top. Okay, so I've applied the individual lashes. I just did a few of the mediums on the outer bits. I do feel like I have to put something on my lower lashes. I'm gonna regret this later as soon as I turn into a raccoon. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of the mascara and just like press it right onto the tips here. Just trying not to get on my lower parts of the lashes because it will go everywhere. Just really delicately placing that, but it does just give a little bit of depth that I feel like is 
is necessary for this eye look. So then we go in with the lips. I'm gonna do the combo I've been loving lately, which is my Victoria Beckham 02 lip definer and then my Victoria Beckham lipstick in pout. So I'm just gonna take this, apply that onto my lips. I got a lot of comments on Instagram saying that my lips were looking uh, terrible lately. And I just wanna say nothing's changed. They are the same. I have not had my lips done since whenever it was, April or May, and they remain. And it was a Vach job. And I did talk about that in my Q and A. So if you missed it, check it out. <laughs> and then taking the lipstick on top, just a really nice neutral little lip. My lips are so dry right now. They're literally scabbing and flaking off. They are so so dry so please ignore that <laughs> and then we finish off with a spritz of mac fix plus i was actually kind of surprised that he didn't use more setting spray throughout i'm really like into that habit of just spritzing my face every five seconds while i'm doing my base makeup but alas we shall save it for the end and my friends that is everything for the hindash signature makeup look i literally can't stop looking at my skin the skin looks incredible my friends that is everything for this makeup look i would love to hear your thoughts i feel like i learned so many fun little tips and tricks here i absolutely love how he blended in all of the cream products with the foundation brush i just think it makes everything look so natural on the skin like my skin is absolutely caked in makeup like i have so many different products on it but all blended together it just looks so seamless so good the eyes look incredible i'm obsessed i'm obsessed with how this makeup look turned out and had so much fun recreating a kind of mixture of the hindash signature makeup look so to everyone who recommended these videos to me and to everyone who brought hindash into my life thank you so much i'm going to link the videos below i would love to hear your thoughts how do you think this makeup look turned out and if there are any other makeup artist looks that you want me to try to recreate please let me know in the comments down below you guys I really hope that you've enjoyed this video. Thank you so much as always for watching and for being here. And I'll see you all very soon for a new video. Bye!